So we have an update on Vincent Jackson. Now, now I remind you, okay, I'm gonna remind you right now. I'm gonna read the title, but I'm gonna remind you, everybody watching right now, okay? Vincent Jackson may have suffered from alcohol and concussions. Family says that the sheriff department does not speak for them, okay? The source for this was Jenna Lane, ESPN staff writer. Okay, so just remember that, May. It's not official, okay? It's not official that that's what it was, but it's May. So um, the statement came um, after Hillsborough County uh, Sheriff Chad Cronister um, went on a local morning radio show on Q105 on Wednesday to discuss Jackson's death. <sighs> you know what, I'm going to stop right there. Why? Why? We're going to go on a radio show and talk about this? Really, like it's, it's it's not too soon, right? This guy only died like how how long ago? Like we made his like video not, like not even a week ago. So let's go on Q one hundred and five and talk about it. How about don't talk about it until we get the actual facts going on? Shame. I'm sorry, I would have never done that if I was the sheriff's department. We're not talking about this issue until we get the full one hundred percent facts. But you know what? Let's read what Sheriff Cronister had to say. Okay, Sheriff Cronister, um, what do you call it? The hills, um does not speak on behalf of the Jackson family, okay? So remind that. So he's not speaking on behalf of them. So they still haven't made a, a comment. Um, he said, and I quote, it could be several weeks before we know what led to the ultimate and tragic death of Vincent Jackson. The Hillsbury County Medical Examiner's Office continues to, continues to conduct a thorough investigation alongside the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office. Based on these statements made by relatives of Jackson to detectives, his family had reason to believe he may have suffered from chronic alcoholism and concussions. However, the exact cause and manner of Mr. Jackson's death will not be certain until his autopsy, among other reports, is complete. Okay? You know what, Nate? I can't believe, I, can't, I really can't believe they're speaking about this without even knowing 100% what happened yet. That's what I'm saying. Like, that, that, that shot, that, that got me confused. It was like, what are you doing? Right. And this, look. That's why I want people to understand this word, may. It's not, so look, let's suppose you're hearing this on radio, right? And the person doesn't hear the word may. Then they're going around talking about, oh, he, he was an alcoholic and he was he had a concussion and everything like that. Come on, really? Get the, seriously, get the 100, get full facts first, okay? Issue a, a statement to, okay? Issue, if you're going to issue a statement to the public, make sure you check in with the Jackson family. Okay, to see if they're okay with it. Because personally, if that's me, bro, if that's me, I don't want any, like, I don't want, if I'm the family of some, of my relative tragically died, I don't want you going on Q105 and talking about it in the morning show. What is wrong with you? I don't want you going on TV or radio about it at all. Right. Like, like, and usually when you give an update on somebody, it co they're, they're in front of like a courtroom and they give you the update. Okay. You, some people don't like, you know what I'm saying? Fine. Whatever. You know, check with the family first, but fine. Whatever. But we're really going to go on a radio show and update the people on that? Come on. The same problem, the same problem happened when, um, when uh, I think it was, I believe it was Kobe Bryant. Same problem with that happened with Kobe Bryant when TMZ had to report it. You know what I'm saying? That's the worst way you could find out is through TMZ. Okay? This shouldn't be happening, man. It shouldn't. Okay? This, it's, it's, it's very unprofessional. Let me go on a radio show and talk about it. Really? Let me tell you something, okay? No, no disrespect to Q105. I bet they're a great radio station, okay? But that was not the right source to give that information to. Not the right source. No disrespect to them, okay? We're not the right source to, source to give it to. ESPN is not the right source to give it to. Fox Sports isn't the right source to give it to. I don't care. They're not, okay? You need to make sure that the Jackson family is okay with it, A. And B, you need to make sure that you do it in a professional manner. Simple as that. And that's what annoys me the most about it. Now, again, remember that word may because it's not it's not set in stone yet. That's how he died. They said it's going to take several weeks to determine it. And you know what? It's taken, and honestly, it could take a lot more than several weeks, Nate. Think about it. We're getting updates on Kobe Bryant's death in the year 2021. Okay? So not everything is, so not everything is like set in stone. You know what I'm saying? It's been over a year since that, since uh, the tragic death of Kobe Bryant may rest in peace, but we're still getting updates on it. So I feel like in a year, it's going to be the same thing with Vincent Jackson. We're still going to get an update. And it's very, and again, it's a very mysterious way of like, you know, how did he die? It's very mysterious. But like, again, again, like you don't know this for a hundred percent facts. You know what I'm saying? He doesn't, I'm glad that he's, the one thing I am happy that he said was that he's not speaking for the Jackson family. 
Okay, so these are his words and it's not speaking for them. So they still have like their own opinion. So I just want people to know that that's not their opinion. Um, he's, uh, he said that the autopsy report would be a, would be made available Wednesday, but a spokesperson for a Hillsborough County Medical Examiner told ESPN that he was that that, that, that was not the case and that not even a preliminary report, uh, report would be issued Wednesday, although they were made aware of Chronister's comments. And then they actually um, and they actually put this in quotes and I quote, they said, the manner and cause of death are pending further study. Um, it could take up to several months for a formal autopsy report, depending on what tests need to be run. Uh, run. Perfect, right there, you read that, you heard that quote, right? So when you get that information, that's when you come out with the report and you don't do it on a radio show, okay? Seriously, if I'm a police on this, I am not going on no radio shows. No, no, and no. We are talking, we are going to give you the information in a professional manner. We are not going to, that is, I'm sorry, that's, I think that is, I'm going to be honest with you, and I don't care. Say what you want, I don't care. I don't care about the dislike, nothing like that. I really don't. That is disrespectful on this officer. That is disrespectful to Vincent Jackson's name right there. I'd be really pissed if I was a female, if I was a family relative. You're really going to do this on a radio show? Really? I don't care if the radio show is a medical radio show, Nate. I really don't. Don't do it there. Simple, okay? I get it. I get people are probably going to say, well, information is information no matter where you get it. Yes. Would you rather get your information from a professional source or would you rather get it from a radio show? Think about it. Would you rather get it from a live news feed where you're in front of the courtroom speaking about it and it's the actual 100% facts? And that's the other thing that annoys me, Nate, is that they don't even know that, that, that that's the real cause. But you're saying it on, on radios. Why? Seriously. So you know what with that being said, I hope they do find a cause of I hope they find this cause of death, you know, the final cause of death quick for Vincent Jackson, because it is devastating to see somebody at 38 years old pass away like that. It really is. And you know, like I don't want people, I don't want people on here going, oh, Vincent Jackson was an alcoholic or he, you know, he got a concussion, whatever, or or coming up with all these crazy theories, okay? I don't want people doing that because it is not final yet. That's what it was. You know what I'm saying? They have suspicion of it. It's not final. So when the final autopsy report comes out, we will give a final, we will give that final, we will give the news when it is finally released and that it, and when it was actually released in a professional manner. You know what I'm saying? We're not going to be the first ones to do it. Okay. We're, the, we're not going to be the first ones to give you the, the uh, news. Okay. So, it's going to be given in a professional manner, and then we will come out here and we will talk and we will tell you what the actual cause of death was. This right here, I it, so far, is not the actual cause of death. So we'll wait on it, and when it comes out, we will give you an update. So with that being said, I just want to say, I just want to end this by saying, once again, may Vincent Jackson's soul rest in peace and condolences to his family. I bet it's probably still tough for them, you know, and, and you know, we're praying for them. Right. Uh, I just want to touch up on a couple of things before we end this. Um. First of all, you know, obviously, I'm still praying for the family of Vincent Jackson. You know, may Vincent Jackson rest in peace. Um, obviously, it was very unprofessional for the um, for the officer to go up on a radio show and talk about this. I mean, personally, I would have questioned his methods and all that. But I'm not. I'm not going to talk about this. I want to talk about the alcoholism part, which I uh, again, like we said, it may have it may have been the case. And I, and I, of course, I want you guys to keep that in mind. But if that was, and, and, and I'm saying, if and only if that was the cause, let's just say it was, right? You don't become an alcoholic because you want to be one, all right? There is clearly something going on in your life for you to become an alcoholic. Believe me, I was an alcoholic. I was a drug addict. I know that. I know that. There was a lot going on in my life, and that's what I resorted to. I should have resorted to somebody, but I didn't. I resorted to that because I thought that's what's going to relieve the pain. But it didn't. Now, I'm again, I just want to clarify. I'm not saying that's what actually happened. I'm saying if that's what right. happened. Something was going on in his life. And this is where I'm about to get personal, all right? Y'all need to reach out to your loved ones. Y'all need to reach out to your friends. You feel me? You know, COVID's obviously the biggest thing that we're worried that we're doing with right now. And very understandably so. It's taking over the world by storm. And it's, and it's doing a lot of things to us that's affecting us as people. Well, us as the people, the one thing that needs that keeps us sane is our mental right. health. Mental health is one of the most important things in this world, and, and I think it needs, I think it needs a lot more attention than what it's getting. I got to be honest with you, dude. And I'm not blaming COVID for that, obviously, because obviously COVID is a very big thing. 
you know, so that's obviously something we got to worry about. And there's obviously other things too, but COVID's just the biggest thing, you know, it's been the biggest thing for the last year now. But a lot of people need, you know, and again, I want to clarify one more time. I'm not saying this is how it actually happened, but this is, whether it happened or not, doesn't matter. I just want you guys to know, y'all need, you know, if you know anybody with mental health issues, y'all know anybody that's depressed, y'all got to reach out to them, you know, try and be of assistance to them, help them out, you know, lift, lift them up and lift them up in your arms, just, you know, you know, treat them like a friend, treat them like a family, you know, make them, make them know that they're loved, you know, because, you know, people resorting to this kind of stuff, you know, puts them down it's bad paths, you know. Right, and, I, and um, well, I'll say this, Nate, though, like, I agree with everything you said, but one thing, see, I don't think, like, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll disagree with the alcoholism for a second, because I don't think every alcoholic had the, pre- like, I don't think it's like that, like, I'll say this, so it could, it could easily be something like, you know, you take a sip of, you take a sip of uh, beer, right, and you just can't stop sipping it. It doesn't have to be like a problem. Now, a lot of them, most likely it is a problem, you know? You're going through something in your life and yeah, that's absolutely true. I don't think every single one of them is it though. You could easily take a sip of like a bear and you enjoy it. Look at college kids. A lot of college kids, they'll end up drinking out their mind. They'll have a bunch of drinking games. They'll end up <laughs> playing bear pong and they'll take that drink. So it's not always depression, you know? Alcoholism can really, it could just start with you taking a sip and you, you could be the happiest man in the world. But you could still be an alcoholic. Now, in Vincent Jackson's case, it looks that way, like something was going on in his life. You know, you don't just leave for months, you know, and go to a hotel and then this news pops up. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't just happen. So, like, it, it does look that way. Now, do do I, is that fully confirmed? Like, what are something was going on in his life? No, we don't know. You know what I'm saying? There hasn't been any, report, like, there hasn't been any evidence showing that, like, besides like, the, him going to a hotel, there hasn't really been any evidence of like anything depressing going on in his life that might have led to this if he was even if he was an alcoholic you know so like so that's the only part i disagree with you with. i feel like you can become an alcoholic without being depressed you know what i'm saying without anything going on in your life i mean you could still disagree with that or whatever that's your prerogative but that's just personally me but again yeah i just want people to know that again it it you know, if you're an alcoholic, get some help and like make sure you, somebody that you really trust and somebody that'll be there for you is on your side. 